United States. If you want... Uh, USA! USA! <laughs> USA! USA! I mean, no? seriously, well, a little bit. It's, drill, baby, still, drill! Well, there yeah, you go, man. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Moderation on that. Uh, but the, the, uh, innovation is what's going to make the United States economy grow. And in right. order to have uh, uh, innovation, you have to have scientifically literate students being graduated from uh, all kinds of schools. Now, this seems objective, as you say. It would seem like... Who wouldn't want the United States to innovate? Isn't this the greatest thing? Right. But you have this situation in Texas where uh, people want to have creationism in textbooks. Oh, sure. Now, uh, unlike s some other acquaintances of mine, I don't have any big deal about somebody's religion. But if you claim, <laughs> if you but, claim that no. the Earth is 10,000 years old, that's just wrong. No, they say 5,000. 5,000. It's just wrong. The Earth is flat. No, it isn't. And so this is to your point. Well, you're, you're, I mean, you're quoting facts. How much do we really know about facts? <laughs> <laughs> See, that's the problem, is that, is that facts themselves have become subject to oh, debate. Man. And this, this must Crazy. drive you fucking nuts. <laughs> <laughs> right, look yeah. at him. He's going... Yeah, yeah, so... But, no, it really is troubling, well, because... Yeah, well, you are used to explaining things to children. Explain to Republicans right now. <laughs> what? What? So, well, I'm sorry, the Democrats in that bunch too. Oh, boy. There's not a lot of Democrats who think the world is 5,000 years old. Yeah, yeah. There are some, you're right. There are some. There are. There are religious yeah, Democrats. Yeah, yeah. That's but I mean, right. I mean, you you cast a, a, a jaundiced eye at me about religion, but isn't no, I was religion... giving you a hard time. I know, but I you should, you should give love. religion the hard time. I, I mean, I read that you were in, I think it was Texas, and you quoted oh, Genesis yeah. about, and a Genesis something like God made two great lights, the sun and the moon, and you pointed out to the crowd that the moon, of course. It's not a light itself. It's just reflecting the light off the sun. And they threw a shit fit and stormed out of the a room. A woman grabbed her kids by the wrists and took them out. Right. Which was uh, kind of cool, but uh, <laughs> also But you troubling. cannot see that and not know that religion oh. is the enemy of science. Oh, and when man. people say we can reconcile science and faith, no, we can't. Well, the whole thing is, when, in science, when, it's when you have claims. That's the big deal. So if you claim the Earth is 10,000 years old, that, that's just wrong. I mean, uh, rubidium becomes strontium, and it's, it's this extraordinary half-life, and that's how we determine these things. And the same way, uh, as I said at that thing in Waco, I said, it looks to me like whoever wrote this uh, didn't really have it right. And bear in mind, everybody, this has been translated, I don't know how many times from Sanskrit. Maybe the guy was pretty savvy, actually, and it just got messed up. You know, the moon is out all day. I don't want to shock you. Uh, and so, uh, there's no reason. The moon, it's a pebble. The there's... moon is only 290,000 miles away, right? Uh... I, I have more miles on my United <laughs> Airlines yeah. thing than that. Well, and you can get there in three days. And, uh, you know, bear in mind, just changing the subject slightly, you know, South Africa has a space program because they know that if they get 8,000 PhD people running around in South Africa, their quality of life's gonna go up. So everybody, we have a mission going to Jupiter that's gonna swing by the Earth on October 9th. Don't miss it if you can. We have a mission, people say, what's your favorite planet? Pluto. Okay, we're gonna go to Pluto. It'll be there in 2015. <laughs> These things take an extraordinary amount of time. We spend one and a half billion dollars on planetary science. How much do we, how long does it take to spend one and a half billion dollars in, uh, Afghanistan. 20 minutes, a half hour? Yeah. You just got your nerd credentials back. No, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so